Yo, yo, Spectre here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Y2K logo in Blender. First things first, open up Blender. Remove everything. And then do Shift A and then go over to text. Zoom in. And then click on the text and then hit tab. And then write whatever you want. I'm going to do Spectre. Then hit tab again, then go over to your object data properties. And then over here where it says font and then where it says regular, click on the folder icon. And then on your fonts folder, you can see all of your fonts. And if you don't see your custom font, you can also just look it up on your downloads or wherever you have anything stored. But for this demonstration, we're going to do the font planet cosmos and make sure to select it and you can see your actual font here otherwise your font will not show up then go to your object properties and then on the rotation x do 90 degrees then go over to your object data properties and then you can close this down and then on geometry open this up and you can extrude this kind of thick let's do a 0 0.3 and then copy and paste the same text and let's name these uh, different. So this can be Spectre 1. And then here on your second text, do Spectre 2. Make the second text with the extrude of 0.15. And then down over on your bevel, on the depth, you can do a 0.1. And if you think it looks a little bit too big, you can also decrease it. Maybe do like a 0.8. I think that looks a little bit better. So just play around with it. Now, if you move over, you can see that there's a space between these two. And we want to have that on purpose. That way you can have that 3D look on the Y2K logo. And then, then click on the outline and then on the inner. And then do Control P. And then set parent to object. Now, if you move the inside, it moves together. Okay, now let's set this aside. And then do shift A and then do mesh and then circle and then click on this little pop-up and then the vertices type in eight. Then hit tab and then select every other vertices here. And then do S and you're going to want to make a diamond shaped star. Then highlight everything and then right click and then new edge face from vertices. And then select the edges and then do E to extrude, then select bevel and then highlight the entire star, including the edges. And make sure that they all turn orange when highlighted. Then go over to segments and then type in eight. Then pull the yellow bar. And then you can see it's creating a bevel effect. Then right click and shade smooth. And the star should look much more cleaner. Then rotate it on the X axis 90 degrees. Then copy your object and then paste it again with control V. And then over in your left bar, click on the scale icon and then rename your circles into stars as in star one and star two. Then go to star one and then set origin to center of mass with right click. Right click and then set origin to center of mass on both stars. And then you can scale up star number one. And then you can make it thinner. That way star number two can show and it has an outline effect with a fill. 
select the fill and then select the outline and then hit control P to parent both. Then replicate your star and then set it to the side and make the second star a little smaller with the scale. Then show your text, both the outline and the fill. Then click the fill. Then material properties. Then set a new material and rename it white. Then on base color, make sure it's the bar is all the way up. Same with surface color. And then go down over to your emissions. And then crank it all the way up. Then go up. And then on metallic, raise it to number one. And your roughness, do it to almost zero. Then click the outline and then do the same on material properties and rename it black and then make your base color black all the way down and the same with the surface color. Then drop your roughness down and make sure that emissions is all the way down as well. Then select the inside fill of your star and then change the material to white and do the same to the other star and then now change the outlines of the star into black on both do the same also to your outline and your fill of your word and then go over to material preview on your viewport shading then select your stars and start adjusting them and make sure that the tilt on the rotation y is at 5.5 degrees on both stars and then begin aligning them as such. And also you can change the direction of the scale. Increase the scale Y axis in order to get that effect. Then go over to your shading tab and then go over to your object and switch it to world and then add with shift A environment texture. Then connect color to color and then hit open and then go over to your local disk C where your blender file is installed. Go over to program files and then go to blender foundation, blender 3.4, 3.4, data files, studio lights, and world. And then select studio.exr Then hit open image. then go over to your layout again go over to your render properties and then select film and then select transparent make sure it's checked marked now let's start aligning a camera do shift a and select camera and then start aligning your camera in frame then select your star and select the outline and make sure that when you rotate anything it rotates both the fill and the outline then select your fill and then do control P and then make sure to parent both objects and do the same to the other star now when you select the middle piece and if you rotate anything everything should rotate at the same time now bring up your timeline and then Insert a keyframe on the z-axis on the rotation on the first frame. Now move over to 50 frames. And then on the z-axis, insert a frame on the 20 degrees. Now move over to 100 frames and do negative 20 on the z-axis and insert a keyframe. Now select both and then paste them over on 150 frames. 
then select your first frame and then paste it over to 250 and now if you play the animation you should have it tilting side to side select all of your keyframes make sure to hold shift right click go to interpolation mode and then hit bezier and now you should have a much more cleaner animation then go over to your render properties and on render engine select cycles and then on your device make sure to hit gpu compute if you have a gpu and then over on your sample viewport max samples to 300 and on your render max samples to 300 as well Then go over to your output properties and make sure to insert your resolution and then select your frame rate. I like 60, so I'll keep it at 60. And then on your output, make sure to select a folder where you know where you're going to have your files after it is rendered. I'll do a new folder here. Y2K tut. Then hit accept and then accept again. And make sure that the file format is PNG because we want a sequence. Make sure that RGBA is selected. And you can also do a different resolution for Instagram or TikTok. Just swap these two numbers. Hit Control and F12 to start rendering. It may take some time depending on your system. And there you have it guys, if this has helped you in any way, shape or form, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you want to follow for more, I'll link all of the social medias in the description below, including the name of the font and where to download it. Thanks for watching.